Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott and today we're looking at automatically rigging characters using Mixamo. I'll be using the character you can see here, the low poly female anime character, although some have argued it's not anime. You can find this file in the link in the description. There's also lots of playlists with free courses on my channel. If you like what I do then I've got a paid for character course which is very detailed with a sculpting workflow going from nothing to a detailed character that moves around in a game engine. And that's all from a beginner's perspective. Okay, so here's the character we've been creating so far. If you want to follow this playlist, it's also in the description. If you want to learn how to create it, the playlist again is in the description. And we need to export this so we can automatically rig it in Mixamo. So I'll select the whole character and the jumper. I'll go to File, Export, FBX. I'll name it White Hair. Make sure that you've got selected objects only, just in case you've got other things in your scene that you don't want to export. And then Export FBX. That should be very quick. Now let's go across to Mixamo. So your screen should look something like this. You may need to sign up for a free account or log in if you've got one already. And that will take you across to here. I've already loaded my character in before when I was testing, but you'll need to upload a character on the right hand side here. So if you press upload character and then select character file just here, here's my white hair FBX file. So I'll open that up. You can drag and drop the file in as well. And there's my character. Now, because I had it facing forward in Blender, it's facing forward in Mixamo. You might need to adjust that though with the arrows and things over here. I'll go to next. Now in this bit, we actually sort of rig our character as it were. We just move these placements into position to the corresponding points. So in this case, it's wrists, and I'll just go in the middle of the wrist there, the chin, and I'll just point to the chin there. You can be pretty rough here but try and find the best place possible in the middle of your shapes. So just about there, the knees, just there and the groin, probably around there I would have thought with the jumper getting in the way. One thing you might find useful in this case, I've got a three fingered skeleton. So you can see that matches my mesh. You've got the option of no fingers. So if you've just got a solid hand and it's not split up at all, then you'd go for that one or two fingers if you've got a thumb sticking out but all this is solid. I'm going to go for the three fingers as that's what I've got set up and then click next. This will take a couple of minutes and it's come through and it's working reasonably well and you can zoom around your character with left click. You can also use the buttons down here, middle mouse button to zoom in and click your middle mouse button to move around to strafe around. So now I can click on next. That will bring my character into Mixamo and now I can click on one of these animations such as the samba dancing and there we go it's all rigged and animated. You can see bits of the mesh underneath coming through which you may get with these sort of automated processes. So I could go back to my blend file there and just move the jumper out a little bit more and that should solve it. You've got lots of animations on the side here that you just click on to see what they look like. With this one, you can see the arms are cutting into the character. So over on the side here, it's actually got an arm space option and I can increase that until I think it's in a suitable position. What you might find with some of them, maybe the standing up one here is that certain items will be cut through the floor, but it's not too bad to be honest. But again, with these sort of automated processes, you might have slight issues. And you can see again, the base mesh coming through our jumper very slightly there. So we'd probably want to increase that slightly. You can also see slight problems with the weight painting on her right side of her chest just there. But it's not too bad. So with your character, you might want to, one, delete the mesh underneath the jumper if they're always going to be wearing this jumper or sweater, depending where you come from. Or like I said, you can make the jumper a bit thicker. So I quite like the Samba dancing, so I'm going to download that one. So I'll click on that and I'll press download. All these settings are fine. What you may find is you want the width skin for the initial character that you do. But if you download any other animations, you might want them without skin because then you can bring them into Blender and then just attach them to your original one. So I'll download width skin for this one and then I'll go back into Blender. We need to go up to File, Import, FBX. Mine came into my download folder and there it is, Samba Dancing. I've downloaded that twice, so that's why it's got a one on the end of it. And I'll import that. And there it is, it's jumped back in. I'll move my playhead back to the beginning. 
and press the spacebar and you can see the samba dancing happening there. I can hide my original character and we can see it a touch better. This animation lasts a bit longer than 250 frames by the looks of things. I'll move this up slightly so we can see and I'll click on the actual rig and you can see all the keyframes there. If I zoom out you can see how long the animation is and it is very long, 500 and I just press spacebar to pause, 547 frames. So I can change it up here to 547 and watch the whole animation running through. Okay, so it really is as simple as that. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comments below. Hope you're enjoying the series and thanks for watching.